Hello. Over the next couple videos, we'll scan through the various methods of converting logic forms. There are three main ways that we systematically represent logic. Truth tables, Boolean equations, and logic circuits. Each of these shows, in its own way, how input variables lead to an output result. Each has certain advantages over the others. For example, truth tables indicate all possible outcomes and are perhaps easiest to summarize verbal statements, while logic circuits allow for direct implementation in machines. Since all three forms are valuable, it is important to be able to convert between them. In most cases, it is difficult to jump directly from true tables to logic circuits, or vice versa. However, it is relatively simple to convert between Boolean equations and the other forms. So, that will be our stepping stone in the middle. In this video, we'll explore conversions between logic circuits and equations. We'll discuss truth tables next video. The nice thing about standard forms of equations is that they are standard, which means there are consistent ways of using them. When given a standard sum of products equation, we can easily convert it to a circuit. Each product term is achieved with its own AND gate. Then, the outputs of those AND gates are all fed into a single OR gate. In this example, there are two product terms, and so there are two AND gates. The first product term is X prime Y. So, the inputs to the corresponding AND gate are X prime, the prime is achieved with the NOT gate, and Y taken straight from the input. Very similarly, the second product term, x, y prime, is equivalent to this other AND gate. Note that the order of the AND gates does not matter, just like the order of the product terms does not matter, due to the commutative law. Once the product terms are complete, the only operation remaining is this OR, and so the circuit uses this OR gate to unite the AND outputs. Looking at this slightly more complicated example, we notice the same pattern. NOT gates, AND gates, and a single OR gate. Get used to this pattern. Every SOP equation can be achieved in the same manner. The first product term is X prime, Y prime, Z. So we draw an AND gate with three inputs, X prime, Y prime, and Z. The middle product term is drawn similarly. The last product is also similar, but it happens to have two variables. No big deal. Simply use a two input AND gate. Once all the AND gates are in place, bring them all together at the end with a single OR gate. Also, don't forget to match the output label with the equation. That is a common mistake. The approach here is simple but reading the circuit diagram can get a little tricky. Take note of one subtle drawing feature that helps us, these solid dots. The solid dots indicate a branch. The signal coming from the left splits into two as it moves to the right. So here, the Y prime signal is sent to each of these AND gates. Any lines that cross without that solid dot are separate wires. So here, the Z signal is separate from the Y prime signal, and it's also separate from the X signal. Pay careful attention to this when you draw your own diagram. Without those small dots, this logic circuit would be impossible to interpret. The other standard equation form, product of sums, also has a standard two-level implementation. That term two-level is a little confusing because we are using three types of gates, not, or, and, and. However, the not gates are not counted as one of the levels. The most common two-level implementations are and, or for SOP and or, and for POS. We'll briefly discuss others in a later video. How do or, and circuits work? First, you need to know the POS equation. Then, each sum term is converted into an OR gate. 
For example, this x prime or y prime or z is drawn here. Finally, the product is achieved with a single large AND gate at the end. Here's another instance where SOP and POS equations work in very similar but opposite ways. In this case, just the order of the AND and OR gates is flipped. The next few slides will discuss non-standard forms. But before we get there, an important reminder. X or Y quantity prime is not the same thing as X prime or Y prime. Three different ways I show how these statements are not equivalent. On the left side, the logic says to OR first, not later. On the right side, the logic says to not each variable first, then OR later. Keep this in mind as we begin drawing. Shown here is a procedure for drawing logic circuits from a given equation. We just saw how to do that with standard forms. This procedure would work for those forms, but also any other arbitrary equation. Step one, list the input variables on the left side of your blank drawing. Step two, identify the next logic operation that has priority. This must follow the order of operations which goes parentheses, not, and, then or. Step three, for the logic operation you just identified, draw the appropriate logic gate to the right of the variables. Step four, draw lines to connect variables to logic gates. And step five, repeat this process until all the operations have been drawn. Let's apply that procedure to the example equation x equals a or b, ended with c, or a prime. Step one is to list the input variables on the left side. Simple enough. Then we identify the first operation. There are actually four possible operations to choose from, or, and, another or, and not. We evaluate what's in the parentheses first, which is a or b. Thus, this first or gate. The next operation is NOT, thus we draw input A passing through a NOT gate. The next operation is AND, so we draw an AND gate. One input to this AND operation is the result of the parentheses, which is the output of this OR gate. The other input is simply the starting C. There is just one operation left. We draw a final OR gate then feed in a prime, as well as the result of the AND gate. Now we are done, except we forgot to indicate the name of the output variable, so let's do that here. So far this video has exclusively demonstrated working in one direction. Given an equation, draw the circuit. We will conclude with two examples working the other way. Given a circuit, find the equation. The approach is simple. Work left to right and write the Boolean expression for the signals leaving each gate. Here we see a NOT gate with C passing into it. So we write C bar next to this wire. Above we see a NAND gate. A little trickier, but the logic is simply AND first, NOT later. It can be written with an over bar like this, or with parentheses and a prime like this. Finally, we see a three input AND gate. The top signal being ANDed is that AB quantity complemented. The middle signal is simply input B. The bottom signal is C bar. Thus, the AND gate produces this expression. If not asked to simplify, we can write the final equation as Y equals AB bar AND B AND C bar. If we do need to simplify, then this becomes a Boolean algebra problem. You could start with De Morgan's theorem and then continue on, but that's not the point of this lesson, so we'll stop here. Now for one last example. This AND gate produces A and B, so we write that expression here. The expression for this NOR gate is B or C quantity prime. This bottom AND gate produces B and C, like so. Working left to right, this AND gate accepts both the NOR and the AND outputs. So it makes the expression B or C, 
quantity prime, and it with B and C. Finally, the OR gate sums the two input signals, and that produces this final Boolean equation for Q. Again, we could simplify the final equation if desired. In this case, it would become a very simple Q equals A and B. You will often find that an arbitrary circuit produces an equation that is more complicated than necessary. The simplification is not obvious in the circuit diagram, but becomes easy through Boolean algebra, which is one of the big advantages of that form. At this point, we have covered conversions between logic circuits and equations. In the next video, we will involve truth tables.